Look at that. Decra 4 ADAC prototype Germany. So welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're just taking a look through the fence at Nielsen Racing. Now this unit at the end is unsigned but there just so happens to be a Nielsen Racing truck at the side of it look. Now this is uh, normally what they use to transport the very very expensive racing cars. So let's see if we're going to be able to see something that is uh, unusual. You see inside that door you can clearly see the tool chest where they keep all the tools there look and you've got a ramp at the back which the vehicle normally gets in on and what can we see we can see, see the front of something there I just can't quite make it out what it is it's certainly got a front uh, fairing on it nice and low and if you see in the distance there you can clearly see some slick tyres for what they normally use on the Formula One vehicles so wouldn't it be amazing to see what they've got inside that warehouse eh there is an open door but can't really see much and they've got a tent out there <laughs> I'm not sure what that's doing it's quite low normally to uh, keep things cool but can we see in that uh, the back of the truck or not not quite getting the right angle so this will be a great one just to take the drone up just so we can have a look what's in the back of that and yeah let's go and have a little nosy let's have a look then Look at that. Decra 4 ADAC prototype Germany. And it's got a top deck which just seems to have uh, a quad in there. So, let's get a little bit closer. You know, that's what drones are for, isn't it? Have a real good look. And I can certainly see this one. So what do you think to that? Are we going to be able to find any footage of this online? Actually uh, being driven around? How unusual is that, eh? So these guys over here, that way, they still have no idea what's going on. I don't think they've uh, heard the drone yet. Look how close they are, look. He's obviously cleaning the, uh, the little tent, the roof of the tent, ready for the next time they need it. So yeah, I wanted to see what was inside the back of it. So now we have, I'm gonna bring David back. So, uh, I don't expect there's anything else to see. Let's have a quick look, see if we can see inside that door. I don't expect we, uh, we're gonna see much, but let's zoom in and see how the light treats us. Nah, yeah, you can't really see anything inside there. So let's get ourselves back back in these guys have been very very professional 
and not uh, not bothered about what I'm doing at all. So I'm going to catch this one rather than land on the grass. And there you go. So yeah, Nielsen Racing. You can see some more fancy wheels down there, look. And I'm going to pop up some information on the screen now about that uh, vehicle we've just seen. Check this out. Uh, being waved on. Following that, it's the number four Nielsen racing car of John Nelson and Matt Bell. Then we have the 72 machine of... Uh... Place the Nielsen racing number four, a guest entry for this weekend. Matt Bell, the very well experienced Englishman, uh, starting from P8, the ninth place a moment and oh he's not alone that's the number four car of Matt Bell by the looks of it so there's been quite the collision there further back in the pack safety car out unsurprisingly didn't see what happened there in the moment if it was on picture I'm afraid it just about evaded my line of sight but the Number four car of Matt Bell, the Nielsen Racing entry. And the uh, number 72 from Corin and Kempi Motorsport, Sebastian Aaron Both drivers, unfortunately, going no further. Certainly doesn't look like we'll be going to racing conditions at the end of this lap, does it? The... Uh, Recovery vehicles and marshals still hard at work, so I think we are going to get at least one more lap. And, of course, all of this uh, will eat into the first driver's stint before the handover point at the pit stops. So that was Nielsen Racing from Corby, Northamptonshire. Leave that video there, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Thank you for watching.